So there like, we go. Oh no! Oh there. no! Oh my um, god! Bad problems are happening. Bad problems. Um. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World. And today, we are going to be taking a look at a brand new game mode that was recently added. So not the career mode, but another one. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. So you may be wondering, what game mode is this? Well, it is the shipping lines game mode. It's similar to the career mode, except that you get your own shipping line. Well, you can create your own shipping line, you can join or be accepted to shipping lines, and it is really cool. Similar to how the White Star Line is, or the Cunard Line, and there's actually already a White Star Line in the game, so that is pretty cool. So going over to the menu, we will see a tab called Shipping Lines, but to get that, we have to go to Game Mode and then select Shipping Lines, similar to what we did in the Career Mode video, which will be up in the top right corner. But yeah, once we've selected it, we can access the Shipping Lines tab. So by doing that, we can view our own shipping line. So I've created mine just before the video. It's the Gillette line, of course, and it looks like we've got some tags that have appeared there. So yeah, it looks like Gillette gets tagged, which is interesting, so um, I'll have to fix that later. But as you can see, it's here, and we can actually accept Jay Killen, because he's in the server right now, into our uh, our line. So here we go. Let's accept him, and there we go. So Jay Killen, welcome to the Gillette line. How do you feel about that? Uh Yep, sounds Ecstatic. about right. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, as you can see, there he is right there. You can see that obviously there's me and then there's Jay Kill in there. So you can't actually join a shipping line. You have to be in the same server as the owner of that shipping line, I believe. And that can make it difficult if you want to just join, let's say, the White Star Line. Because if we exit this here and we go into the leaderboards, you can see that the White Star Line is actually here in game. And they have a lot of voyages. They have a hundred and eleven voyages so far. Anyways, um, to create a shipping line, you actually have to pay a hundred Robux, so this is a sort of paywall that can stop a lot of people from creating it, but I believe that it's there to stop just anyone from creating it, because that could clutter up something, so you really have to, like, be ready to create a line to make one. So, I've got the Gillette line just because I think it's going to be cool and we can do a bunch of sailings on it and whatnot. So yeah, and uh, let's go ahead, let's spawn in, and let's see if we can do a voyage successfully. Alright, so here we are in New York, and Jay Killen is also somewhere here in New York, and that ship just sailed on land and crashed into the water. But you can actually see that there is a Gillette line kind of name there, and you've also got the banner of the Gillette line right there as well, which shows the pride and joy of the Gillette line, Gillette 3, or SS Gillette 3. So, yeah, we're gonna make our way to Cape Town, and I'm not sure where you are, Jay Killen. Where are you? I'm on the far side of New York. I'm not sure where, though. Ah, uh, so I'm actually kind of on the side where Halifax is, so I think you might be... Yeah, do you see land? Uh, yeah, I see like a big mountain island in front of me. Okay, so you're on the other side. So if you just sail around, um, you'll be able to uh, meet me here. So I'm going to load up with some passengers and cargo. And as you can see, just like the career mode, this thing actually just randomly generates a number of passengers and cargo. So we're going to make our way to uh, Cape Town and we're going to try not to sink because that would be bad for the Gillette line. This is kind of the first crossing. I mean... Don't worry, we've got a backup ship as well, which is what um, Jake Hillen is sailing. What are you sailing, actually? Uh, I'm still in the United States. Oh, wow. So uh, we'll be sailing kind of uh, sister ships. Well, they're both technically the same ship, but mine is just painted in the SS Gillette livery. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and set our aim for Cape Town. And, uh-oh, I may have just pulled the Coast of Concordia. But don't worry, I'm closing the watertight doors. So there yeah, we go. Oh no! Oh there. no! Oh my um, god! Bad problems are happening. Bad problems. Um, but don't worry about that. That was a minor issue. It's been taken care of. Everything's been resolved. Oh, I see that land just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Yep. Don't worry about that. That's uh. From my perspective, your ship just kind of freaked out. Like I, it was. I didn't see any land or anything. It just went vertical and started spazzing out, and then the rocks just generated in afterwards. You see. That is exactly why you look at your chart maps. Don't worry, passengers are going to have a slight 10, 15 degree angle over to starboard for a little bit, but don't worry, we'll pump it out in no time. That scratch on the side is going to get covered up. We will be completely fine. The first voyage of the Gillette line is going 
very well with the SS Gillette 3. Now, Jay Killen, do you actually have a Gillette line tag above your name? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So it is working. So yeah, that means if you see somebody with like a banner and then a name or like the White Star line or the Cunard line or, well, in this case, the Gillette line, then that means that they're actually part of a line, which is really, really cool. So why did you just turn to uh, starboard there? Uh, there's just land right over here. Oh, thank this is you very a much. Big set of land. Yeah, I can barely beaches. see it. All right, I'm turning over here. I'm trying to uh, avoid that now, and I got to get between the land itself and this uh, burning oil rig. I'm gonna go underneath this wooden bridge. Yeah, it's probably the best. Oh, I know where we are now. This is a familiar spot now. Well, we're steaming ahead. We are uh, slightly tilted. I mean, with every time that I pump out water, we kind of get a little more level here, which is good. You're here at Cape Town now, I think. Oh, wow. So we are really, uh, well, I mean, the SS United States and the SS Gillette 3 can really make it there pretty fast. Well, the SS Gillette 3 is not too bad now. Only a layer of portholes is currently under the water. All right, I see you there. I'm going to dock on the other side. And luckily, the damage will not be facing the, uh, the dock side. So that means that... We should be okay for the press to take photos of the ship. And this is a horrible docking right here. All right, I'm just going to stop. Might slow down. Yep, there we go. There you go. I destroyed all of the furnishings inside the ship in that one motion. We are angled a little bit away from the dock, so maybe... Oh, boy. Oh, that's painful. Okay. Ooh. Yep, there we go. And stop. There Reminded we of, are. Uh, Reminding me of the Olympic when it went into the New York port and scraped along the dock side. Don't worry about it. We've already got men down there quickly, furiously painting away on the hull, fixing our error there. So, yes, we have docked up. And let's take a look at our leaderboard, or, well, our line, and see how it's doing. So, if we go to the shipping lines tab and we view our shipping line, there we go! We got two voyages because Jay Killen did one, and then I did one. Jay Killen's was more professional, mine was awful. And, uh, Obviously, it just kind of goes to show that the Gillette line is probably not a line you want to sail on unless you want your ship to sink. So yeah, we're going to do one more voyage before we get going here, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be kind of a small introduction into the uh, shipping line's uh, game mode, and I'm going to have to fix this up here because there's a bunch of tagging there that I thought I fixed, but uh, apparently I didn't, so yeah. But yeah, we're gonna do one more voyage, and we're gonna see if we can use these same ships here. And whoa, that appeared all of a sudden. But as you can see, there's Jay Killen, and there's me, and you can see that's how much cash each of us has, and that's how many voyages we've had, and passengers we've transported. Wait a minute, you've only transported 500 passengers? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting, I transported 1,000. So let's go ahead and let's find another port to sail to. So, uh, Jay Killen, I'll let you kind of decide what we're gonna sail to this time. Hmm. We got a lot of options. What about San Francisco? Hmm, I have not been there in a while. So yeah, why don't we go there? All right, so okay. I guess I'll load up my passengers and cargo. So this time around, I've got 800 passengers and 150 some cargo. And Jay Killen has got 1,913 passengers and 239 cargo. So let's go ahead, let's sail out, and let's see if we can get to San Francisco in one piece and without damaging our hull. So let's go. Ooh, look at that. The sun is rising. However, we're still somewhat in a storm, so that kind of does suck a little bit. Now, I should mention that we've got to watch out for fuel as well, because as I said earlier, this is sort of like the career mode, where we have to purchase all of these things. Well, I believe we do. Let me actually check real quick. So we're going to go to our vehicle stats. Let's see. So, interesting. Apparently not. It says... Only works in okay, so yeah, that would make sense. I guess I just didn't notice that we refueled, but that would make sense why we were at 99% fuel there for a minute. So I guess we don't have to worry about fuel in the shipping lines mode. So it's sort of interesting. I guess it's just the line itself, it's not a mix of the career mode. So that's cool. Now I got a question for you, Jay Killen. I'm sailing in your wake. Would that kind of slow down my ship? I'm not sure. I mean, it might. I it basically is just a bit of i guess turbulence in the water so it might be a bit more rough to sail through it hmm yeah that's something interesting i didn't really think about until now well i don't have to worry about a wake anymore because i mean 
I'm not even in it. I've slowed down to a point where I'm kind of trailing behind. There's just a little bit of health I gotta get back, or a little bit of water to pump out, and some damage to fix. And then, the SS Gillette 3 will be as good as new. Well, what's good is we've got wonderful weather ahead of us, so that's good. Alright, so I gotta make sure that I actually dock up pretty well. You've been docking up these ships really well so far, so I gotta kinda get back on this. So I'm gonna try to throw my engines into reverse, and I'm gonna see if I can keep some momentum. Let's do dead slow, and we'll see if that can get us... Oh yeah, this might actually work out pretty good. We're still a little bit damaged, but not hugely. I'm gonna stop for a minute. And then we should just drift into port. Oh, this is so much better. Yeah, look at that. Very good. And there we are. So! We just stopped just in time. Yes! Actually, I think my bow is overhanging. Yeah, yeah it is. Doc. Just a wow. little bit. Holy cow. Alright, so that is four voyages completed. We got two under our belts here, and obviously those combined make four under the Gillette line. So, you may be wondering, what happens when your ship sinks? So, I'm willing to take that risk, and, uh, looks like the SS Gillette 3 is gonna go down. Again, maybe. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, back out of port. Let's load up with some passengers and cargo. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm wondering, oh, yes, it does work. So, scuttling a ship does work. But I'm wondering, will I actually go into the negatives with my money? Uh, Jay Killen, why don't oh. you, uh, throw your anchor for a minute? Let's see what happens here. Have you loaded up with passengers? Oh, yep. Yes, you yeah. have. Is that doing anything? I'm sinking. Ah, yes. Wonderful. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sink by a split. Or, well, basically V-break. So, there we go. So, the ship was so stressed by this motion that uh, this has occurred. So as you can see, the SS Gillette 3 is going down. It's the first ship to sink. And, well, there goes the SS United States. So, let's see how that is screwed over our line. Or, has it done anything at all? Alright, so let's see. Well, actually, it doesn't seem to have negatively impacted us at all. At least, financially. I mean, obviously we lost all of those uh, passengers and cargo on our current voyage, but we never actually got to our destination, which means we don't get that money. So that's actually good. It won't affect us negatively. Now in career mode, I don't think that's the case. I think we might lose money, but again, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, there we go. It does say this list may not always be accurate. Refreshes every two minutes. Okay. So maybe yeah. we need to wait a little bit just to make sure. Yeah, let's see. I mean, if we do lose money, it's the Gillette line. We sink ships left and right, so yeah. All right, so good news. It doesn't negatively impact us, and it just updated there. And as you can see, I mean, I think our prestige may have gone down. I wasn't looking at it before, so I might be wrong. I'll put some text up on screen if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, yay. So yeah, that was the brand new Shipping Lines game mode, and um, this is really exciting. It's really cool to see each individual line that people are creating. They've got different players that are sailing around all the time, and I've just realized that since you're part of my Shipping Line, Jay Killen, whenever you sail on here, it's going to be under the Gillette line, so our prestige may go down a little bit every time we sink or something. So, uh, yeah, that might be a little worrying. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.